Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to make a comparison video between all of the pink planners that I own and still available to purchase at this time. My intent for this video is to help you make an informed buying decision and help you decide which planner is best for you. So I will be going through the color, the tone, a little bit of the layout inside, and I hope this video will be helpful. All right, so I'm going to start with the planners in the lowest price range and I'm going to be moving up. So first we're going to start with my vegan planner covers because those do tend to be more affordable than the leather ones. And I'm going to be using my Jillio Epica Lotus planner as a baseline comparison because I have a feeling that this is going to be the one that people are most curious about. So I'm going to set it here to the side so you can have a visual of the color difference between the Lotus and all these other planners. So I have two vegan letter planners here. I have the Cadenetta Notebooks in the pastel pink and the Print Prussian Safiano vegan letter in the blossom color. So first let's look at the Cadenetta Notebooks. This is the cheapest pink cover that I have and this was a custom order that I made through the Etsy shop. I just messaged the seller asking her to make me a traveler's notebook without the string so that it can be a folio instead and I asked for a magnetic clasp closure and she didn't charge me very much for the custom order and it came out beautiful. I love the texture on this cover. It's still so very soft and pliable. Here is what it looks like next to the Gilio Lotus. So it is paler and more pinky to me than the Lotus. Here's the inside that you get. It's a felt material on the inside. And then here is the lining on the inside also. I am currently using this as a journal cover. So let me just go ahead and take out my journal. Here's the inside of my cover. So this is an A6 cover. And it perfectly fits my Stalogy, which is what I'm using right now. One thing I will say about the Cadenetta cover though, is that it picks up dirt really easily. So I have this little mark here. I don't know if it's dirt or a scuff mark, but that's been in there for a good while now. And in the back, it's got these weird yellow markings here. I have no idea what this is. There's some slight yellowing here. And then here you can see there's some black mark in the middle and then some yellowing here on the top. And I did try to remove all of this with nail polish remover, which I usually am able to use with no problems, but these markings wouldn't come off. So I have no idea what this is. It does bother me, that's unfortunate, but I never baby this cover. So I guess some dirt is inevitable. I did order some pink letter paint that I'm going to be using to cover up the marks here. And it's just acrylic paint, I think so. I think it'll be fine. But there it is, my Cadenetta notebook cover in the A6. And then my next vegan cover is the Print Prussian Safiana Weeks cover in the Blossom. So here's the Cadenetta pastel pink next to the Blossom. And as you can see, the Blossom is more pink and it is brighter than the Lotus. Personally, this pink is my favorite out of all that I own. It's the perfect pink color for me. I just love it so much. It's not too muted. It's not too purple. It's just the perfect pink color. So here's the inside. You do get strings. And I've already done a video on this, detailing the layouts in my Moterm versus Print Prussian comparison video. So I will link that down below. It does come with a back pocket as well. The material is super high quality and durable. I've also never made this cover and it's pretty much good as new. So the corners are squared and there's very little corner wear, if any. So this would be a great workhorse cover if you want something hardy that you just want to throw in your bag and take to work, take to the groceries, take to errands, whatever else. The only signs of wear that I've been able to see is these obvious finger marks here where the buttons are. But other than that, this material has held up really well. So I'm very impressed with the Safiano material. This is the Sophisticate collection when you look it up on Print Prussian. 
and it's very soft. I've mentioned before, but this behaves more like a fabric than a piece of leather, as you can see. And I'm just super duper impressed with this cover. It's not very expensive compared to the other covers that I'll be showing you. Definitely much cheaper than the Gilio, but I just feel super drawn to this cover. I think it's one of my favorites and I should probably get this in other sizes before it goes out. So those are my two vegan leather covers. So I'm going to be moving on to my real leather covers now and I'm going to start with Moterm, which is at a much lower price point than the others that I have here. So there are two, I would say, pinky colors available for Moterm. You have the lychee pink and the lychee lilac. Next to the lotus, the lychee pink looks dustier. It's more of a dusty pink than anything, I would say. I've also done a pocket planner comparison between the Moterm pocket rings and the Gilio pocket rings. I will also link that down below. It's a bit old, but I think it's still relevant. But comparing these two letters, it's very clear that Gilio has a much higher quality letter than the Moterm has, but that doesn't mean that the Moterm letter is bad quality. I actually think their leaky letters are great, especially their recent batches. They really up the quality lately. So here is a more recent cover that I got and it's hard to tell on camera, but, but the new batch of letters have been so soft and squishy and it just feels so good in the hand compared to the old ones. So now here is the Lychee Lilac and it is a light purple color but I thought I could include it so you can have a visual between the pink and the lilac. And I do prefer the lilac color over the pink. That's just my personal opinion because I generally prefer brighter colors. I love reds, turquoise, deep greens. I'm just really, really drawn to those bright, saturated colors. Not so much the dusty colors. So if I had to pick between the pink and the lilac, I will definitely pick the lilac. So here is the lilac next to the lotus. Again, this is clearly meant to be a light purple color. I know that Gilio also has a light purple color as well. I think it's the cloud and the lila. I don't have those personally, so I can't show, but if you're looking for a Gilio light purple, I would definitely check out those two colors. And again, I've done a comparison video between the Moterm Weeks cover and the Print Pressure Weeks cover, so I will also link that down below. There will be lots of links this time. All right, the next one I want to show is the Final Facts Patent Rose. This is the personal ring size. Again, in my opinion, this color is gorgeous. It's this nice, bright, kind of peachy pink color. It's just so pretty. Again, I am drawn to the bright, saturated colors myself. Next to the more muted colors, I am definitely team bright colors. Are you team muted colors? Let me know in the comments because I can definitely see the appeal of these colors here on the right, but personally, I just super duper love the bright colors. And this is patent leather, so it's coated and it's nice and shiny and it picks up finger marks really easily. I don't know if you can see that, but that's from my hands just now. <laughs> I have lotion on, so it definitely picks up all of that but it's really easy to wipe off. You just take a microfiber cloth and you're good to go with this planner. So I love it for that. And again, here it is next to the Chilio, very bright pink. Here it is next to the Printpression Blossom. And then I'll put the Moterm Lilac here so you can have a nice visual between these three planners. As you can see, the Filofax Patent Rose definitely looks peachier, a little, orangey next to these two. Again, the Blossom is my absolute favorite, but I do love all of my planners. All right, so now we're going to move up to the higher end planners and that's going to very easily be Vanderspeck and Gilio. So I've never done a direct comparison of these two, so I can do that now. This is the Touch Me Parme pocket rings. And again, this is the Gilio Lotus pocket rings XL. So they both have the same size. 20 millimeters, and I'm using this right now as my wallet. This is the Touch Me letter. It's made of French buffalo, and the Gilio Epica letter is made of calf leather. So two different letters already from the start. As you can see, the Parme looks drier than the Epica. That doesn't make this a dry letter, but it's not as smooth and shiny. It doesn't feel slick in the hand. 
So here, up against the light, you can definitely see the difference here. But this is still great quality leather. I love this for my everyday carry because it's tough, it's durable, it can get wet and the water comes right off. I've never had any problems with color transfer with this Parme. I do love the texture of this one. I think it feels really good in the hand. And the Lotus, again, it feels softer, it feels more slick, definitely has that calf leather feeling. These both smell amazing, by the way. So here is a visual of the difference. The leather colors typically vary by the batch that you get. Sometimes you'll get a brighter Lotus or a more muted Lotus, slightly darker. So keep that in mind when you are doing research for these planners. But as you can see, my Parme does look a bit brighter than my Lotus. I think you can't go wrong whichever one you choose. The Touch Me line is cheaper than the Gilio if you're ordering straight from the website. But Vanderspec also offers custom orders for all of their planners. You can make a Codex, which is just a folio without the rings. You can make a Nomad, which is their traveler's notebook. And you can also make a custom order for their rings. Those are much pricier than their Touch Me line because they do have to make it in their shop in the Netherlands. But if you're just looking to have their Buffalo leather, they do have their ready to ship line on their website, which is the Touch Me line. So you have plenty of options if you want to go with Vanderspeck. If you have any questions, you can always email Petra too. She's always been so kind and helpful to me, so I can't say enough good things about Vanderspeck. All right, so a quick comparison of the layout. So here's what it looks like on the left side. On the Gilio, you get the secretarial pocket, this little deco pocket here, and then three credit card slots. On the Vanderspeck, you also get a secretarial pocket, a little horizontal pocket here, and then a full height pocket on the side, and then you also get a zipper pocket. And again, keep in mind, this is the Touch Me line. If you were to place a custom order from Vanderspeck, you will get a different layout, but you can ask them to do a layout like this. It will just cost you extra. And then on the right side for Gilio, you get another secretarial pocket. You have a zipper pocket here, which is not gusseted, and then you have the pen loop. And for Vanderspeck, there's also a secretarial pocket, three credit card slots, and one horizontal pocket here and also a pen loop. And both planners have a back pocket. So either one of these would make for a great planner wallet. Oh, and the Gilio has a fly leaf. And for Vanderspeck, you do have to order those and that's an extra charge as well. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And that is it for all of my pink planners. So I'm going to bring them all out again for you to see. If you have any questions about these planners, please let me know down below. Sometimes I get questions about whether I am selling these planners and I do have a Stash account on Instagram. I will link that down below. Any planners that I decide to sell, I post there. I also post it on Facebook. Oh, and a tip about Facebook that I have noticed recently is if you are looking for a Gilio planner, like a specific color or a specific print, generally when they restock the website, that color is going to come up on sale on the Facebook marketplace a couple of weeks later because there would be people who would buy up the planner straight from the website. And if you've tried to order from Gilio, you know how difficult that is because these things sell out within minutes, like literally minutes. But I've noticed that those planners always come up for sale on the Facebook marketplace, Mercari, eBay, Poshmark, all those secondhand websites a couple of weeks later, sometimes even like a few days later when the buyer decides that they don't want to keep the planner. So Gilio restocked their Lotus line not too long ago, and that's how I managed to grab a couple of Lotus covers for myself. So just let other people buy from the website, let them get up early if you're living in the States, and then when they decide that they don't want to keep those planners, that's when you make your move. <laughs> so I hope that tip was helpful. I do want people to be able to find their dream planners, but that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing. This is Baba Notes and I will see you next time. Bye.